2020 Ultimate Masters. Boy, has the world changed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Timmy. You're watching Rudy's Investments. On the throwback today of Ultimate Masters, as we go back, what we do here is go back, back. My patron Richard says, Rudy, it's been a while. Ultimate Masters. Arguably the best box opening series ever done. Boy, does it bring back memories, doesn't it? Yeah, sure, brings back some memories. The original, the original, the original box topper, ladies and gentlemen. Whew, man. What started it all and what changed the world. Am I right, everybody? So, just to recap, everybody, the end of 2020, the state of modern uh, doesn't exist. So, the mythics, like the Karns and the Lilies and the Snappies, is really not what we're after anymore. They're not like $100 cards anymore. Those are all like $50 cards. We are actually after, like, just a heads up, like, you know, Mana Volt's like the most expensive mythic. You know, we're after cards that are actually more rares. And uh, the creepy whisper, dig through time, starting off with disappointment. And also, there's quite a few uncommons that are actually like three, four dollars a piece. You have a ton of uncommons, technically between one and four dollars, and you have a lot of thirty dollar, twenty dollar, fifteen dollar rares. Vexing your devil on a Wednesday, Dreamscape, Wild Hunger, and the Kozilek. So so far, we're not starting off the greatest, Richard. And by the way, Richard, Richard H, good luck. You're gonna need it. Think Twice and Rudy's Brother, which just, it's been a while. It's been a while, folks. Stream, Ghoul, and Reviving Vapors. Wow, that's a disappointing start. Is this going to be like some curse of Ultimate Masters where everything's terrible? Okay, this is Buried Alive. Is one of It's like a $3 uncommon, so I'm assuming the foil's probably a little bit higher. So I'll, I can track those, how many expensive uncommons we actually get. Spoils of the Vault, and of course, another Buried Alive for $3, $4. That's very nice. So I said, there are times you can get more money in the uncommon slot on older products than you can in actually the rare slots. Just kind of laying that out there for those. I know in 2020, it's like new products. It's not possible, but wow. Stirring Wildwood. All we need is a flipping lighthouse. Desperate Ritual, Forbidden Alchemy, and I think some more of these other uncommons. can't remember them all. I remember quite a few of them were worth something. All right, come on, baby. Give us some juice. A foil rare. Vexing Devil again. Okay. Engineered Explosives. It's kind of crazy to think this at one point in time was a $50 rare. Isn't that crazy sounding? That is just how much the world of magic and modern cards have changed everybody. We got the Hissing Rudy. We got the Talrad Sky Summoner. Terrible. And we've got Young Pyromancer. That's a decent little uncommon. Alright. Well, no Mythics. No expensive rares. This is terrible. Come on, Richard, stay with me. And Faithless Looting, decent, nice little uh, Bale Fire Dragon. Is this thing ever come back up in price, or is it like 10 bucks? All right, so Mythic number one, we'll put you over here. And any good, uh, oh, Chainer's Edict, that's a decent uncommon. All right, folks, come on. That's the first eight packs of the box. Middle eight packs, here we go. Mystic Retrieval and a Ravine. And Eternal Witness, one of the more expensive uncommons again. Very nice, and Rolling. Should we do the box stopper, folks? Here we go. Here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, man. Here we go. Remember, box stoppers were big, big money back in the day. You only get one. Richard, good luck. Tomb of the Yog. Ah, that's okay. It's mid-range. I'm not going to lie. That's not the best. It's kind of disappointing, but, you know, we're going to go with it. We got the tomb. Our box stopper was a tomb, folks. Come on, where's the spice? Soul's Fire and Daybreak Coronet. And Devoted Druid, that's actually a decent uncommon again. And Laboratory Mania. These are actually, like, those are all decent uncommons, man. Like, all those things are like $1 to $4 a card. Those are, that's actually pretty decent. All right, here we go. Fulminator Mage, second rare. Used to be $30 in full rare back in the day. Back in my day, beautiful Miss Rhea. Been a long time, hasn't it, folks? All right, Rally and the Helix. See, I was going to say, if we don't get a bunch of expensive Mythics, we're not going to get anywhere, but it's really not about that as much. Groundskeeper, nice little uh, common foil. The Pulse, Spider, Salvage, and Spite. Really? Spider? Oh, two different Spiders. Like, what? Oh, man, come on! Where's the juice, man? All right, Abomination, and there we go, folks. The old Vengeance. Goro! I always think Mortal Kombat Goro. Very nice rare there. 
Appetite for Rudy and Whispers and Mahamati Dajin. All right, all right. I don't know if the Vengeance... It's very difficult to predict how these prices have changed so much. It wouldn't be Ultimate Masters without a foil foil. Demonic Tutor. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. $30 plus dollar rare. Unbelievably expensive nowadays. Very, very good pool. By the way, gorgeous looking Emancipation Angel, by the way, everybody. So Demonic Tutor. I think it's uh, Ancient Tomb Demonic Tutor. What's the last one? Pyrexian Altar, I think. Ooh, baby. Emrakul. Aeons Torn. Remember, the Eldrazi in this are about 50 bucks a piece. Very solid Mythic hit, everybody. $50 Mythic. Very, very nice. Okay. Now we're picking up real steam. We got a $50 Mythic, $30 rare. That's 80 bucks in two packs. That's what we're... Phyrexian Hard Tower. $15 rare now. Very nice again. And Rudy's Worms and the Boneyards and the Leader. See? Isn't that amazing how quick a couple packs? Boom. Over $100. Isn't that amazing how quick things change in this thing? All is dust. I think five to eight dollar rare on that bad boy. Songs, Swift, and the Slight of Hand, everybody. So if we can get, um, hoping at least the altar, or of course, uh, one more really seismic. So actually, it's a couple dollars now. Uh, recovery, buried alive again. Holy crap! That is, these are all like, I mean, like I said, seriously, don't underestimate the value you get in the uncommon slot in some of these older products. It's quite astonishing. Sovereigns of Lost Alara, blah. Blast of Genius, Rise from the Tides. All right, come on. One or two more good hits. Let's do this. Come on. And Glenalendra. What, seven, eight dollars I think she settled at? And, of course, we got Scourge and Unburial Rites, I think it's pronounced. And four packs left of box one. Come on. Anything? Anything crazy? Moaning of the Creepers, Disrupting Shoal with more fish. Counterspell, Prismatic Lens, and nothing in the Uncommon that's too dramatic. Come on, folks. Come on. we got to get something exciting here. We're getting towards the end. Come on. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh, is that all I had to do was beg and ask for something exciting? Oh, my God. A double Mythic Pack. Mika Koru Kuku Pipi Papa Pupu Shire, the unhallowed and a foil mythic snappy. That looks stunning. Wow. Okay. Okay. That was. Oh, baby. That was massive. Congratulations, Richard. That's how quick the video can change, man. Frantic search, squee goblin Nabu. Beautiful rebirth and travel. Preparations. Last pack of box one. Boy, did that... What a ride, man. Boy, did that end. Lava Claw reaches, of course. It wouldn't be the lava... Ah, oh, been a while, hasn't it? Well, folks, that's box one of two. Absolutely crazy start, everybody. Oh, my goodness. What a ride. A bunch of slow start. It picks up and just blows out of the water in the clothes. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, what a wild ride, everybody. All right, here's our box topper. Let's get our packs lined up. <clears throat> oh, trying to get these things out of here. Make sure we don't miss any. You always got to make sure you grab those things. All right, here we go, folks. Oh, my God. Wow. That was a crazy ending to box one. That's the patron. Richard was all quiet. Now that that's the patron right now. He is just like, I'm in this. We're doing it. Sovereigns of La Solara for box, uh, starting off on box two. Caretaker, some little stuff. Come on. Box two. You think we can top that? Oof, I don't know. I don't know. For Araya coming through again for a duplicate. And spider action. I'll be honest with everybody. That, uh, that unhallowed with that foil mythic snappy. I don't know if we're going to beat that. Revelark for the first appearance of the day. Brawn. Very nice uncommon, by the way. Um, you guys get the idea on the uncommons. Though. I just wanted to make sure you guys were aware how much value you can get. You can make like 50 bucks worth of uncommons in these things. And of course, the shoal. Guess which fish I am? I'm not telling you today. Appetite for my face. Come on. Come on. Come on. Something. Yeah, I just want something spicy here. Faithless looting again. Through the Rudy. Ah, ah. Prismatic. Oh, come on, folks. Stay with me. I feel it. Something big's coming. I'm telling you all. Some, I, I feel we're going to hit something massive. Here it comes. 
Oh, here we go. Skullkeeper. Celestial Collar. Very, very nice on the rare land. And some of these are actually the charms and plenty. Some of those are actually not too bad. They're probably a buck a piece, by the way. All right, here we go. And Moon again. And another double tap. Oh, Lava Claw. Brutal. Flipping Lava Claw, man. God. Of course, at least we didn't get a lighthouse. Two Lava Claws in this video, seriously. Crow and Seismic Assault again for the couple dollars. And there you go. I haven't seen really like uncommons in the, like Eternal Witness. And uh, there's a couple more. What, is Kitchen Finks in this one? Bridge from below. There's our first appearance there. And Laboratory Maniac again. There's a very nice uncommon. I think he's like sitting at what, $3 per uncommon? It's pretty spicy. All right, here we go. Fesbian Stage for the foil rare. Disappointing on that. And Urborg, Tomb of the Yaw. All right, that was our box topper. Hey, there's our first Kitchen Finks. I thought there was Kitchen Finks in this set. I was like, in their kitchen? I thought there was, but I was like, you know, we don't see any of them. You start to like, well, maybe I'm thinking the wrong master set. And Fulminator Mage for our third appearance. Uh, another good uncommon, and I can't remember if that was a good uncommon. All right, folks, box stopper number two. Are we ready? This is it. If I can actually open a flipping pack. Oh, my. Are you serious right now? All right, got it. All right, here we go. Come on, folks. Here we go. We ready? Ah! Temporal manipulation, everybody. Ah, man. No heavy hitters. A bunch of mid-range. I would say you're probably looking at, I'd say 30 bucks a piece on those box toppers would be my guess. And the first troll of the video. Okay. And uh, actually, I think the trolls, is he, he might actually still be at least like five bucks. But first troll of the video for disappointment. Hound. And our first gamble for the throwback. Lava Spike. That's what the other one... I knew there was another like two, three dollar uncommon. I can't remember them all. There's a, t there's so many uncommons. I can't keep them track in this set that have value. All right, here we go. Visions from Beyond, Murderous, and all right, it's nothing. All right, here we go. We are halfway through box two. Noble High Arc making the first appearance of the day, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this used to be a thirty to forty dollar regular rare. It's like twelve bucks now. Isn't that insane? That is insane. Oh, Devoted Druid, another good uncommon. That's how much the modern format and just it's changed so much. It's insane. Oh my god, I forgot about Mr. T, the original Tarmogoyf. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. They used to be like a $120, $130 card at its peak, then it stayed in 100 and Wizards was so obsessed with reprinting this card like tw 10 times, it finally crushed the price to like 30 bucks. Wow. And an Eternal Witness behind it. Very nice. Wow. A Tarmogoyf. It's been so long since I've seen a Tarmogoyf. My goodness, that brings back memories. Jeez, man. Holy crap. Rolling. Very nice. Temporal Manipulation. Here comes all the Mythics. That was our, uh, that was our box stopper, by the way. So, two Mythics in a row, out of nowhere. God, Tarmogoyf, that brings back some serious memories, everybody. Groundskeeper, Disrupting Shoal, I feel like this is Deja Vu. Didn't we get some of these in the first box? Like, in the same order? Like, I'm like, I remember the same Groundskeeper foil, the same Shoal. Some, someone's got to go in the video and rewind it. Yeah, hit the rewind button in your VCR. Tell me, were those in the same pack order and everything? Like, Squee Goblin, the boot, like, I feel like we're having the exact same Deja Vu. Like, these packs are literally in the same order. Like, that's so creepy, man. Alright, foil, foil. Like, jeez, man. It's like Glenelendra. Is this the same? Are the foils with the same rares from box one? I, I, oh, my God. That's creepy, man. Oh, oh, my goodness. Okay, three packs left. Raging Ravine. Man, talk about a crossover from box one. This is a massive copycat of the first box we just opened five minutes ago. And Thermo Alchemist. I remember that. And, hey, Old Man Rudy. First appearance there. Okay. And a Lava Spike. Very good uncommon again. All right, folks. Last two packs. Thanks for joining me today on this throwback of Ultimate Masters. Daybreak Coronet. Uh, the old Shriek Mall was actually a decent uncommon again. And, uh, again, Richard, thanks for being a very kind patron. Enjoy all the stuff heading your way, man. And, uh, dude, that box one. I knew that box one was going to be tough to beat. Ending on the Pulse. And Brawn, another good uncommon. I knew when we had that, that was the peak right there, though. When we had that snappy, that double mythic pack, that was insane. 
So overall, I would rate these on pretty average. Box 1 was definitely above normal because we had the foil snappy mythic and 4 mythic box, which is higher than average. Usually you get 2 to 3 in these because there's only 24 packs. Um, box 2 is below average, so I think, again, slightly above average, slightly below. We had kind of a neutral day here, folks. Uh, not really a crazy home run. Didn't really get F to pay respect to the patrons hammering losses of 99%. It's kind of a, this was kind of an average opening. So it is what it is. Uh, Rudy's final thoughts as far as Ultimate Masters go, because people still ask me about this product. Um, I mean, I kept a position for myself uh, just in the future because I just really liked the product. But overall, you know, I, I don't know if these things, you know, I originally thought Ultimate Masters was going to be like $500 plus a box. It just never happened. And then with Double Masters and, you know, in 2021 with whatever new Masters are going to do, I just, I feel like these products are kind of flat. I don't think they're going to be going higher. I don't think they go to like 450 or anything. Uh, I think they're just going to kind of stay bouncing around between that 350, 400 range. I, I really don't think we're going to see much movement up or down based on just the overall economy of the magic world and the real world. So these are just kind of a, kind of a, a temporary, I, I'm not going to say long term. I still want to use the word temporary because I do feel very firmly that in the next couple of years, a lot of things are going to change again. Because remember, that's one thing we can all be certain on is the uncertainty and the guarantee that Wizards always changes. Every 12, 24 months, you can feel the shift in behavior of type of products they make. So until we see the next shift, uh, this is kind of just flat, dead money right now. So, I mean, I don't see any short-term growth or tanking up or down, you know. So thanks for joining me. Be safe. Hope everyone's having a great day. Enjoy yourselves. Remember, a lot of beauty in the world, ladies and gentlemen. I know there's a lot of negativity, a lot of problems out there all around the world. But again, don't let it blur your vision. I'm telling you, life's a beautiful thing.